We're back, family. James at sleeplay.com on our YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so. Subscribe and like this video. Uh, we are almost at 10,000 viewers or subscribers, so we're trying to get there. So the more you share this, the more people will subscribe and uh, we'll get to that goal of ours, okay? Today we'll be discussing the ResMed Air Curve 10 V Auto, okay? There are variations of this machine. We're just gonna be discussing the standard and the auto that comes on the air curve 10 uh, but you can look out for the um, STs STAs ASVs um, and so forth okay and we'll probably be discussing those uh, later on down the road all right some cases BiPAP would be used for is acute respiratory failure COPD it's helpful in patients with pneumonia and a lot of patients with more central apneic events rather than obstructive they would provide a BiPAP machine uh, so we'll get into this today. So just to overview the outside of the machine and general features, um, this is just like the AirSense 10, okay? This is a different color. Um, this is basically silver or white, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has the same screen here, which I'll go over in a moment. Um, you have on the left-hand side of the machine or the right-hand side, if you're facing it, uh, you have the water chamber, standard water chamber. Uh, it does have the max line here, which I said on previous videos and the AirSense 11, you're going to um, basically fill it up with distilled water. You can use um, filtered or purified even tap water, I'd say, I, I don't say that carefully, you just wanna make sure you clean it quickly or, or after usage immediately so it doesn't uh, form that calcium so quickly. But basically, same thing, open up the uh, water chamber, you'll fill it up uh, to the max line, close it, and it pops right back in here, okay? Um, on the opposite side, we have two features. You have the filter and you have the SD card where the holes are uh, is where the air is gonna come in and it's gonna get filtered out. You have a little indentation back here. You'll feel for it, you open it up, there's your filter, okay? This is re uh, disposable, it's not reusable, so get rid of it. In a typical household, uh, it'll last a month, month and a half easily. Uh, so when you do see it dirty or discolored, I would check it weekly, just toss it out, replace it. Like I said, doesn't matter what side you put this on, you lay it down in a rectangular tray and basically just close this back up, okay? It'll snap, okay? It'll let you know it's in there. Um, this here is where the SD card is located. Uh, this is just a memory. For the machine so if you need to bring this to the doctor or anything like that get a reading off the machine just pop this out they'll slide it in their sd card memory reader and uh, you're good to go okay you can slide it back in here it'll continue to house the memory on your machine all right the back of the machine i'll just go over real quick as i said it's generalized just like the AirSense 10, you have where the tubing goes, okay? Now, just for demonstration, I'm using the heated tubing. The machine will not come with it from us. It's standard tubing unless you upgrade and you purchase separately, but this is basically the heated tube, uh, both ends. You got one over here. It's, it's just a rubber tube that connects to any mask you use. All the tubing uh, on every type of machine will have this end here that connects to the mask. So if you do have a mask, I get a lot of questions from people, oh, can you know? do I need a new mask or a new tube for this machine or not and no every machine on this end will have this rubber piece okay it will connect right to the mask just like this we have it for demonstration the p10 um, you basically take this end here you hook it up to the uh, tubing um, on this end on the um, climate line air tubing that's what it is that's what it's called if you want to look for it it has an l-shaped uh, connector there's a chip right there so if you leave it like an l chip on top you basically hold it like this there's a hole inside the back of the machine where the connection is. You just line up the chip with the hole, snaps in. Very, very simple. Uh, this do, It does you know, uh, turn right and left if you need it to. So if you have your um, machine on a nice standard dresser on this side or that side, you just turn it so it makes it a little easier. I mean, this is a long tube anyways. It's six foot, so it should be sufficient. Um, when you go to take this off, all you do is squeeze a little white tab and pull it okay and that's it all right so i'm gonna leave this connection for demonstration purposes last but not least we have the front of the air curve v auto where we have ramp time leak detection uh, climate control tube temp uh, you have your smart start you can choose what type of mask you're wearing and uh, run mask fit in the warm-up as well also there's an airplane mode on here if you happen to use it while traveling uh, we have several uh, battery options on sleeplay.com check it out but you can turn it on or off if you want to okay below my options we have sleep Sleep report 
and basically what this is going to do is going to pop up every time the, the uh, machine shuts off it's a generalized sleep report so what it tells you is your mass leakage the humidifier status uh, it also gives you the events per hour we put on here and your usage okay as long you know if you do get a green face with the mass seal is great green face with the humidifier is great because that's not going to be red ever if it is contact the, the, the supplier um, but basically if mass seal is red as long as the above that which is events per hour or five or below you're good to go I tell people okay as far as usage goes if you're interested that tells you the last session of usage you got the machine on all night or if you have it on uh, you know a little bit at a time it'll let you know how much you use this okay um, but once you go home you just hit the house button and it takes you right back home okay uh, this is the air curve V auto or the air curve 10 V auto by ResMed there are many options of BiPAP machines uh, just to let you know a little difference of BiPAP is CPAP CPAP is continuous BiPAP is by level okay by IPAP is two separate pressures, one on your inhale, which is your IPAP, one on your exhale, which is EPAP. It's a larger pressure on your inhale over a lesser pressure on your exhale, okay? There are different variations of this machine. We're simply going over the standards, which are uh, spontaneous, which is, which is a regular BiPAP, over uh, the, the auto, okay? Which will adjust automatically to, for you on your inhale and your exhale. It'll adjust to meet your needs on your breathing pattern, okay? Yeah, and so, you know, we just appreciate your time. We thank you so much. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, we're almost there, so please continue to follow, continue to share. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and join us next week.